Hello and welcome to the demonstration of a data transfer between the Timetronics Argus Finder Finish Camera and the Racetech database for Greyhound Racing. Our first step will be to add the race distance and expected split time parameters to the software. What this does is where the user is reading an image, if the timeline is within the split times programmed, then it will declare that timeline as a split time for that dog and not a finishing time. For this example, we use a race distance of 462 meters and the expected split time for all dogs to be between 3.5 seconds and 5.5 seconds. Please note the time unit is in milliseconds and therefore 3.5 seconds is in is 3,500 milliseconds. To do this, we click on the spanner icon to the bottom right hand corner of the photo finish software. We make sure the sport is in greyhound mode and we click on table for split time distances. We will then add a new row and insert the split distance or the race distance that the times will refer to. We will then input the time of the fastest dogs to the time of expected of the slowest dog. And we'll then repeat this process for every other distance where a split and finishing time is required. You do not need to do this for sprint races. We'll then press OK and all that data will be remembered. You only need to do that once at the start you don't need to do this every time you load up the photo finish software. If we click on table for split time distances again, we'll see that that data has been remembered. We now need to integrate with Racetech. So how we do this is we create a folder as we normally would for a race meeting. If you have a meeting where you have trials and uh, races within the same day, you'll need two separate folders. So one for trials and one for races as within the Racetech software, this is how the data is also split up. So you'll create your folder. If you hover your mouse above the gray bar of the folder header, click on the I icon, press sync. And then with all these options here that allows you to integrate the photo finish software with, please click on the middle one where it's got the bags logo and it'll ask you to input a competition code. This competition code can be found on the Racetech online platform. When you go into your meeting, you'll see to the top left of the window, there'll be a Timetronics code. Please copy and place this into this bar. When you've done that, you'll see a, a green OK bar uh, appears. And when you press OK, you'll see to the left hand side, all of your races will appear. We will then begin to record a race as per normal. So when we double click on it, you'll see that you'll be presented with all the controls for the photo finish software. And below, you will now see all of the different uh, six dogs, all of their, their traps and their rate or their name race names when you first start up just be sure that uh, as well as in this results type table you, you have the time but we also want to see the split time so to do this hover your mouse over the table headers right click and make sure split time is checked and then you'll see that when we start processing the image later on the split times will be presented here so we will then go ahead and record a race as we normally would so a race has gone off we will then simulate a split times and we will then some wait some more seconds and we will create a, an arrival. So we now have our splits and arrivals. We press stop to say the race is finished and you'll see here we have our finish times here and our uh, split times here. Once the race is stopped, we will then go and start reading the race. So you see we have where our mouse goes, there is a vertical line. Bring this line to the nose of the first dog. Press and hold control on your keyboard and press click. You will then be presented with a window that shows you all of the six dogs. Please double click on the dog that that timeline refers to. You'll see that then you'll be get presented with a time for that dog and also a red timeline on your photo finish picture. Proceed to do this for all remaining dogs. And you'll see then we have read our photo finish picture giving all of the timelines and all of the times of the dogs. We will then move across to the split times and we do exactly the same thing. So when we press control and click, we will see that a, a window will appear of all the dogs that we can select from. Do exactly the same thing. Please click on the dog that that split refers to. You'll see this time a green timeline appears. That means it is a split time, not a finishing time. And you'll see now in the results table, 
that, that uh, the split time has been given to that dog. And again, just repeat this for all remaining dogs. You'll see now <clears throat> to your to the bottom left hand side of the results table, all of the information has been filled in. So you have the ranks of all the dogs, you have the time, the finishing time for all the dogs, and the split time for all the dogs. We now need to send this across to Racetech. So you see that there is a an up arrow here just above the results table. If you click that, you'll then get two blue ticks, and that means the results have now been transferred to Racetech and the data is within Racetech. If you need to make any manual adjustments for whatever reason, you can still do this manually onto the Racetech software. Uh, and if you need to make any changes, so for example, if this last place was wrong, for example, not 1330, um, but if we give that last place uh, as now 1339, and we read the split time again, if we now upload this, the most recent data will be given, so any corrected data will be sent across, and you can verify this by logging into the Racetech and viewing the results that have been sent across. Thank you very much. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.